Hey there Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for February 20th to the 26th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Getting started here with the Moon Child Tarot and I'm going to pull you some themes to shape up your reading this week. First one out is the Hierophant. Okay, well I got this as the first card out for Gemini as well. I'm seeing lots of crossovers in the readings. Now it's Taurian Energy, it's number five in the Major Arcana and you are at an important point of change Aquarius okay this change is happening in one of the big settings in your life your job your study your relationship um, and it feels like there is shifts and changes in the true values there um, usually for me the Hierophant is an awakening card where we're challenging tradition we're challenging how this environment is set up, okay, and whether it's really right for your true beliefs. Now, it's also the spiritual teacher card. So it's saying that through the situation that you're in, you know, the next part of it here is about you acknowledging the lesson that you are being taught here. So let's keep going. Oh, let's see what the next one out is. It is the lovers. Okay, Gemini energy. Now, this could be in a partnership, whether it's personal or professional. Um, it could also be that, you know, the, the harmony or balance here is being shifted, okay, depending on what's going on in your situation. We'll have to see. Um, being number six, the lovers, is about the balance. So maybe things are feeling maybe in balance, maybe out of balance. We'll have to carry on to get the vibe. Three of pentacles, okay. Um, this could be around what you're trying to build or create in this situation, okay? Um, sometimes the Three of Pentacles is around a team or group environment as well. Now, that could be obviously in the workplace or your place of study. That could mean that in a relationship, there are other parties putting their two cents worth in, whether that's in-laws or parents or friends or um, acquaintances. Sometimes with the Three of Pentacles, like there are other energies involved. Now, um, it feels like there is something that you're trying to create or manifest within this situation, but there are questions as well. There are questions around, you know, where you are right now and, and sort of whether that is right. So I'm going to carry on and get the nine card block out query so we can get some more info. Now, if you'd like a personal reading or healing, first link down below will take you to my website. You may also want to grab yourself my Learn Tarot Quick Guide, absolutely free. I'll link that down below. If you want to deepen your tarot journey, the doors are open to the initiation. That's my more immersive tarot journey. And you can join me for daily readings every single day on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. The links are underneath this video in the description. Please use those because I know at least on Instagram, there are some scammers out there DMing people and asking them if they want readings. Just know that I will never do that. Okay, let's speed things up, Aquarius. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, these are your cards here, Aquarius. Interestingly, I have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the reading. It does feel like we're, there's some kind of partnership here. Of course, that can be partnering with a, an organization, but for many of you, of you this will be um, in your personal relationship. We've got the King of Pentacles at the heart of the reading, which is that Taurus energy again. Um, or it can stand for somebody that has been quite a committed, um, loyal and longer term partner here as well. Um, of course, yeah, we've got some huge energies there with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower and the Hanged Man. But let's start with where you are right now. And I think that's that Ten of Wands energy. Now, it feels like the situation has become heavy it's become the energy that's weighing you down now it could be that you're the one that has to do all the work here right you might be the one that's investing all your time your effort your energy is balancing multiple things like maybe work and childcare, and also you know trying to connect with this person here as well um but it's unsustainable whatever is going on at the moment um, Aquarius is unsustainable for your energy. So with the Ten of Wands, we need some shift, some change. We need something to, to actually uh, release so that you can get that sigh of relief that you want, okay? Um, usually it is associated with an ending energy. I've got three number tens in the reading and the tower. So I'm going to call that there is going to be some really big changes here. 
The Tower is probably one of the biggest cards of foundational change in the Tarot. Now when it comes in with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands, we know that change is happening whether we like it or not. There doesn't feel like you can kind of I'm oh, just seeing stop this runaway ball in the china shop, right? The Taurian energy just keeps on coming. I'm seeing like this is in action, in inertia, right? And it might actually do a little bit of damage because the tower sometimes does destroy what's in its path in order to, to bring the situation down so that you can actually rebuild Three of Pentacles. There is a rebuild here, I feel, in a new direction for you. So going back to the Hierophant and what I was feeling, there's something in the situation that no longer lines up with your deeper truth, Aquarius, with maybe your values, maybe you're just not seeing eye to eye with somebody in this situation. You know, you, you want different things for the future, you've got different beliefs, maybe different um, faith or religious beliefs with the Hierophant, and it's just gotten to the points like, if we don't have that foundation, then how can we build on top of that? I do like the tower because it is the universe's way of realigning you when maybe you wouldn't have done it yourself and you would have stayed in that situation even though you were maybe having to be the martyr of that situation and shelve your own hopes, dreams and wishes, maybe for guilt, maybe for obligation, maybe for commitments, purposes because you know you did sign up for this you know, that, that is coming at a great cost. So I can see that you've, you've outgrown this situation. Now, King of Pentacles at the heart of the reading, you may uh, be financially tied up or obligated to this person, contracted or, or committed to them, own property with them, financially dependent on them as well. Again, I ask you at what cost, you know, does the payoff come of actually having a false sense of stability and security. That's what's coming through here, Aquarius. Um, Queen of Swords, Libra energy links to justice. So it feels like it is justice time, okay? Um, there might even be a truth that you've learned about the situation, whether it's intuitively because of you journeying through the Hierophant or whether there's actually, you know, been something that you've learned. I think armed with that information, Aquarius, it's, a, it's enabled you to actually detach from the situation and you're an Aquarius and you're quite good at that. Um, so I feel like even though this might cause some chaos in your life, you've kind of emotionally detached. I don't have any cups in this reading. And now it's about transforming your situation by keeping that clarity and kind of keeping that kind of cool and moving through the situation. Now the hanged man is here though and this can be the energy of waiting. You could be waiting for the right, what you think is the right time here. Um, the Wheel of Fortune says, you know, that wait's going to be over. There could be a circumstance or an escalation in this situation that brings it all to the surface, that brings it all out into the open. But I think the hanged man is you thinking, well, maybe I'll just wait for the right time to, you know, bring this across to an ending. Um... You might have also been waiting for some information or some kind of aha moment or enlightenment. The hanged man is sometimes waiting for a final piece to be able to, to initiate the change. But this feels like change that is happening whether you like it or not. Because the universe says that actually it is the right timing. There's no real right timing for the tower because it's always going to feel a bit chaotic when it falls. But we won't get to the other side. We don't get to, to that real, you know, rebuild that will change your destiny and your fortune or that will arri arrive, align you to the path of truth or have you arrive, um, you know, unless we go through it. Now, the Eight of Wands here, again, is another card of change that happens really quickly. And I do get the feeling that there could have been a message or a communication that really did um, propel that into action. So again, with that Queen of Swords, you might have been waiting for an answer, whether it's like, I've got somewhere to move to, or got another job to go to, or um, learning a truth, something verified. And that's like that last piece of enlightenment that you needed to go, okay, now the tower can fall. Okay, I'm confident that it's, that it's right. 
The Eight of Wands often has you move in a whole new direction that you, you maybe not have seen coming or not at this time. It's quick movement, okay? But where it's going to, to lead you to is true stability that's not a tower long-term proper security because once this tower comes down that three of pentacles is going to allow you to build in your own true direction so you can expect swift change you can expect to go in a new direction and you can expect change Aquarius whether you're ready for it or not unfortunately but ultimately the universe knows you know what is best for you okay let's get a moonology card work through your fears new moon and scorpio and the scorpio energy can be about what has become toxic for us what is that old skin that we need to shed well work through those fears and move into action aquarius all right one last one receiving Every day it comes it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. Feels like you are, you know, receiving guidance here to be aligned to your path of truth, trusting in that divine plan, trusting that there is a timeline for your life. And sometimes when we stay or linger a little long in a situation or we get a little bit off plan, the universe will use the tower to realign us so it is actually um, an act of universal love and grace. Uh, Aquarius, I'm going to leave you with this. It was an intense reading. Um, I'm cheering you on and of course wishing you so much love and magic. Do take very good care of yourself. Bye for now.